back once again to Mama T Christmas. Up next this morning, you know, we did our big bang, our stuffed seafood lasagna for resurrection dinner Sunday. And we had some leftover stuffing. And as I tell my viewers, we don't waste nothing up in Mama T's kitchen. So this morning, I'm going to make with the leftover stuff and seafood stuff and mix that I mixed a full tutorial showed you from scratch how to make the root and add the seafood in. We're going to take that same seafood stuffing that was left over out of the lasagna mix, which I gently put into a plastic container and put in the refrigerator. We're one day later and we're going to change the whole chemistry of that recipe, baby. And for the keto community, I suggest that you stick by because this recipe is what? <laughs> keto friendly and it's going to be <laughs> deep, delicious. So getting back to the, the subject at hand, baby, we can remake us a seafood stuffed lasagna with some tremendous flavor okay so if you've never seen it or had it and you want to make this type of omelet follow me see me on the other side because we about to get a crack a lack it up in this kitchen <laughs> bye bye okay so i'm back with our um ingredients here this is what we're going what we're going to do for our omelet we have in this bowl four eggs i didn't mix it we have the seafood stuffing. Let me zoom into that. This is shrimp sauteed with imitation crab meat cut in chunks. And we have lump crab meat. And I made it with a roux for my seafood lasagna, but I made so much and some was left over. And what I'm trying to do in my kitchen, y'all, is change the whole chemistry of this. So as mothers out there, well, we can't afford to lose no food, you know what I mean? And now men don't eat no leftovers and all that old crap. So you don't, you're not making a leftover. Because it's only a leftover if you eat it the very same way. Once you make this into something else, it's a whole new dish. So you can be in that kitchen, baby, and whoever say they don't eat leftovers, please ignore that and proceed with caution. So we have our pretty right here, which is our parsley we're gonna put that on at the end y'all that's our pretty and we have our eggs right here pepper salt now remember we season this to a tea because mama tea don't play with no seasoning in the kitchen so this is already seasoned so right here if you can look in this bowl i just added a little salt and pepper and the grand pulver for me this is the grand pulver you got to figure out what it is for you since this is going to be a seafood egg look omelet we baby look at that Look at that, and wherever you are, if you don't have this in your local stores, because believe it or not, some places don't sell Obey. So, you can order this online. But if not, you can use Creole seasoning, whatever your flavor is in your hometown, to make your omelet with the seafood. Every town got their specialty. So, if you don't have that as a cook, I would suggest that you import that through Amazon. And no, they're not paying me. I'm just saying. You need that Obey because, baby, Obey, believe it or not, make everything taste good. Most things anyway. So we're just going to come over here and I'm going to introduce y'all to, I have an ugly pan and this is little Susie Red. This is my copper pan. This is made for the delicacies, baby. Only thing going up in there is sauces and things that's not going to burn and that you're going to cook on a low flame. Okay. Okay. And then we have our tasting silverware here because you always dropping something in the kitchen. You can't double dip and y'all out there watching me on this camera, y'all. Well, I'm ready for y'all too. And then we have our butter. Because to me, butter and bacon make everything better. And I can have butter on keto. The more fat, that's what our diet is based off of. Eating fat, lean meats. And low carbohydrates and sugar, y'all. So just take this trip and this ride on with me, y'all. And I'm just going to give you a, a quick do-over of the things we're going to need in this recipe. So here we go, y'all. 
I got my spaces and everything set up. Two of each one in case I drop one, y'all. I know y'all watching me. And I got my eggs. I got my cheddar cheese. I had my salt and pepper. I had my mixture that we want to stuff this big baby with. And then I had my olive oil. See, once olive oil and butter meet together, it's called ghee. Okay, and they market that in the store, baby, but they won't get Mama T's money because I know what they doing. <laughs> See you on the other side. Who was fast? She big, big, y'all. With little Susie. I have another big pot, and that's the big, big bread. When I pull out big breads, it's for the master ceremony. It's to cook my family. Some dinner on a large scale. And I and I'm just a firm believer, y'all, that you gotta love your utensils too, so they can act right. You know, you gotta love one everything, you know. <laughs> Because it's not, baby. I don't know. They be acting funny. They get jealous, too. Believe me. We're going to turn it out a little bit. Because basically, as you can see, okay, we got everything cooking. We want this a little slow, y'all. I used to try to bring my, um, uh, almost a little real wick. And it never worked. I couldn't flip it. I couldn't get it quite right, y'all. So now we're bringing you the, whoo, baby, the big joker. This is the big joker. This trumps everything in this recipe. Okay? So we're going to put that in there like so. And I'm going to say some y'all, because be honest, if something like boo-boo come on this recipe, I got to do this over again. I got to cut it all over again. So we're going to say some, because I ain't making this again right now. Because it would be too much. Remember? We made that stuffing for a whole nother uh, recipe. So that would be a lot. I would have to go to market and spend a whole bunch of more money. Let's face it, y'all. Seafood ain't cheap. Now, this armor right here, me and my Kimberly will eat this armor. I'm going to see if she's going to mukbang, y'all, but sometimes. 
you can't even get a book by because these two are eating this stuff daily. And before you can look to turn it around, they even already. Now, because it's already cooked, y'all, you ain't even got to wait too long. We're going to add in. This is already cooked. You just want to throw some heat in. We're going to add in. And I'm going to turn my pan to the other side because I know where my burn is at. So. Because I don't want to burn the side that it's on already. So we're going to uh -huh. attempt to flip this over. First, I'm going to turn it on this side where the heat at and, and get that nice and golden brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, quick tip. If you know where you heat it on the burner, you know how your pans work. If you love your pans, you know what they're going to get. So, I'm going in, y'all, and I'm putting a little butter because I want that thing has some color. Yeah. So we're bringing this along real slow, as you can see on the camera, because this is our seafood uh, uh, lasagna. We can really say lasagna. I'm still back in. Where well, I shouldn't be. Okay. So we're going to check that for color and readiness. And I think it's just about ready, though. So we're going to flip that over just like so. Let that cheese melt on down. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we took that. We, now we're on the cool side of the pan, y'all. You gotta know what you're doing. And I'm just gonna be like this. So we can cook that right on there. Look at that on the bay. <laughs> Yes, I've been excited, y'all, because this is the recipe completed with no glitches. Because trust me when I tell you, how many times have I tried to make an omelet? Today, today is the day. And we're going to move by this right in camera, y'all. And let you bust this thing open and let you see it. And let you see what the inside look like. Okay, I'm going out here in my little bag of tricks, I call it. Let's see if I can find these. Okay. Okay, y'all. So this was four eggs. So this is how I'm gonna do this, y'all. I'm going now. And I'm going to cut that in half. Because we're getting a two for one. And if you have a big hearty person in your house who needs more, then you improvise in your kitchen. You know? That's what it's all about, everybody. It's about quick tips. Most cooks can cook already and everything. But I improvise it in my kitchen. And this is just another tool that helps it in the kitchen handy. She calls my razor. This is my little razor. My little razor. So, I'm going to turn that flame off, y'all, because she's still cooking. She still is cooking. Yeah. And what I want to do is, because I'm using this uh, apparatus, I want to bring this up close and personal to you, just the way it is. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look, she just said, I like it. You know, some people like a little burn burn, and that's just to their liking. But I bought her this baby alone, and she just turned on that. So I'm getting up close and up here. Can you taste it? The room in this kitchen, y'all, is just amazing. Oh, I smell all everything, but I almost forgot playing around with y'all. We got put out pretty on it. <laughs> yeah, because when we serve this thing and we look famous this thing, I tell you, it's nothing better than pretty food. It's nothing better. Look at that, y'all. Hit that with that. And sprinkle a little bit of something, something on the top. And baby, you got yourself a home. Okay? We'll be right back. Stay on my train, because we can walk <laughs> by this thing. Yes, baby. Oh. 
Um, Miss Pizza Star, hey, Kimberly, your problem will find you just keep you calm, my Lord. And she can just tell you what she thinks. Okay, because Mama T can do it, and it's going to be gravy with me because I made it. And I made it to the way that I like it. But we're going to have Al Smack, a family member, just come and muck find this thing for y'all. So we'll be right back. Stay on the train. Hey, <coughs> this is Kimberly, excuse me, and she's going to be muck finding Al Seafood omelet. Stuff with all types of seafood. <coughs> what you think? Oh my god. I don't know what's better, the lasagna or this. I don't know what's better, the lasagna or the omelet. But this is a banger for real. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so Mama T showcase and how we had a little bit of leftover um, stuffing mix from the lasagna. And I used it to create a seafood stuff omelet. And we're just letting um, Kimberly sit here for the El Smacker family, y'all, show you. Because I could smack it, you know, but then that would be like, oh, she made her own stuff. So I'm letting her smack it. Because we, we, we on here, y'all, and we doing all different kinds of extraordinary things, right? And we showing you how to bring <coughs> breakfast to your family in different ways. Like, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, I eat the same old, you know, thing when you have stuff in your refrigerator already that you can stuff an omelet with. So we just bringing it to you live. And I'm letting you see her eat it. It's because, you know, if I eat it, it's like, okay, I like my own cooking. But, baby, I'm telling y'all, y'all better get you some, okay? Okay, because what we say on this channel, we ain't wasting nothing, y'all. Nothing. So, we have turned this uh, little bit of stuffing into a whole nother meal. We have, we have transformed this, and it has transcended into a... Uh, Seafood stuff only. And this is the day after Resurrection um, Sunday. And this is what we having over here for breakfast. So I just invited you in just to give you a quick look and a quick tip. And yeah, she ain't even saying nothing, baby. Because that's when you know it's right. When you just trying to eat that. Mm -hmm. And we out. Y'all have a blessed day. And please, if you like what you see, like, subscribe. And share me with somebody. Because that's what my page is all about. And don't share. forget to comment. And don't forget to comment. Thank you. I'm going to get it all in the... Mm, mm, mm. I don't know which one's better. Let's flip. But this is for my keto friendly. This is all keto friendly. Nothing in here is you're not supposed to have it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And gee, all this thing. It's good. And now when I make it, I'm going to have to make some extra on purpose just for this reason. Hmm. It was an accident the first time, actually, because I was doing a keto lasagna and a regular lasagna. So by me doing both in the same day, I wanted to make sure I didn't run out. I didn't run out. I actually had a lot, and I just stuffed it, but y'all, this is so refreshing, like, the whole thing just goes together, and, um, and the beauty of it is, we're not wasting anything, that's the, that's the real, deal you're not wasting all your valuable ingredients you don't have to freeze it for some things you just 
you're not going to get um right back to. And I was going to freeze this, but then my gut feeling, my first mind, my intuition was like, mm -mm, put that in the refrigerator because the mixture was cooked already and it was so good. You could have it on crackers, the brew and the um, seafood, actually. So at best, I was going to make me some keto um, chips out of the tortilla uh, wraps, the protein tortilla wraps. And that's in another tutorial how you make that and use up that for your bread. So look at all um, the the the. Mm, this thing's so good. I'm getting tongue tied. The tutorials about the wraps and the keto wraps and how I made them homemade at home through experimentation, y'all. It's just, I give all the glory to God because I know the thoughts that I'm having and how he's flooding me with these uh, ideas. They only can come from someone brilliant. And who, who's the grand master? Jesus Christ himself. So, hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I love good food. And I don't have to have a lot, honestly. But when I get it, I like it to be flavorful. I don't want to miss nothing, y'all. And when I say, I, 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 I like to taste. Mm. Mm -mm. So, I'm going to finish this up in peace because holding this camera. I'm trying to get every angle. It's, it's taking a little bit away from the experience of it. And this is surely the experience. So I say to you guys, I just say, mm, Mama Tia, until next time.